Farm to Table is just one way local restaurants try and support Colorado farmers and ranchers. But one restaurant recently took that to a whole new meaning. Sean Chitness live tonight at the Urban Farmer in Lodo to explain. Hey, Sean. Well, Dominic, it can take months for the meat that we enjoy at restaurants to get here. In some cases, more than a year. And now there's an example of a family that loves 4-H that was competing in Jefferson County. The animal that they raised went from their farm to one of these tables right here at Urban Farmer. An hour outside of Denver, three generations have come to call this place home. Since I have autism, uh, animals really help me with calming down and, see, and I see the world differently and I just like working with them. Jacob Sorensen is the latest member to grow up through 4-H. I think that they understand me better than humans do and I just, they're calming in their nature. In his room, the many buckles he's won since he started at the age of eight. The one from 2016 for yeah. Grand Champion Market Turkey. <laughs> Out back, the animals he loves and helps raise. I prefer my turkeys. I also love the cows. It's the first time in Jefferson County 4-H we've had a restaurant buy a steer. This steer went up to auction earlier in the year. An urban farmer in Denver served up that meat. Oh, it tasted amazing. The family also has chickens and pigs, all grown through a natural and sustainable process. People want to know where their food comes from, and they want to know that we're being good to the earth. Saying goodbye isn't easy. The last day I got to see him, I, I cried a lot. It was sad. But it's a process he respects. Can't imagine doing anything else. Nope. And when you move your father and your husband in together, one of them's going to go a little funny. But this funny farm is serious business. The biggest accomplishment is for me is growing and becoming a better person. And this burger that we have here tonight is actually made from some of the same meat of that cattle that Jacob raised. It's a great example of how beef and other food can be sustainable in a way that doesn't harm the environment. And it's also a chance for 4-H to connect with the community and places like this restaurant. So if you want to enjoy some 4-H meat, they have it here tonight at Urban Farmer. Reporting live, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. All right, Sean, thank you.